Hi, welcome. Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to replace a MacBook Pro full assembly LCD screen. So, this is a 15 inch model. If you turn it around, check your laptop here if it's model A1398. Okay, so we'll be doing a screen replacement. I have a brand new screen right here. So this is a full assembly. It is a used screen. I do not need a brand new one, but it's your choice. You can buy a brand new or a used one. It is available on Amazon or eBay. And if you feel like following my video and do the screen replacement yourself, make sure you check the link in the description below. I have all the tools ready for you. Um, and also the LCD screen where you can buy it from, either from Amazon or eBay. All right, so first thing first, you need to have the Pentalope P5 screwdriver. Um, I'll link them in the description below again. You can get it from Amazon for this purpose. First, we need to remove the uh, back cover. So let's go ahead and remove all the screws here using a Pentalope P5. Once you have removed all the screws, remove the back cover by simply pry it open. And here you can see your entire um, computer. So you might want to take this opportunity to clean out the fan. You can use the Aiken duster to blow it off and whatever helps to clean off the fan. So there's these two little rubber. You need to remove the rubber and put them on the side so that you can see the uh, uh, the hinge. The next step is to disconnect the cable. So you have the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, three cables here. Let's go ahead and pull it straight up. Do not pull it left or right. You know, just want to lift it up. So the, the connector is a circle and the board right here is flat and a circle as well. So what it is, the, the connector here connects on top of that circle. So you just have to lift it up to remove it. Now, once you have removed the three Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, this is your camera, the webcam. Slide the cable to your left, okay? There's no clipper or anything. You just uh, slide in to install to your right and slide left to remove. Okay, so make sure the cable is all ready to go. Here has a safety clipper. You're gonna flip the clipper open and slide the cable to your right. This is for your LCD screen. Once that is done, so the next step I like to do is to get yourself a T4 screwdriver, remove this special little screw, and this tiny little screw is holding down to the LCD. This thing you need to save it and put it on the side. Okay, do that on the other side of the screen. and save it on the side here. Okay, so the next step, what you like to do is to get yourself a T8 screwdriver. This is a T8. T8 and remove the, uh, the three screw, the major one for your screen. So if you ask me, do I need to disconnect the battery well, I'm doing it without disconnecting the battery. It is your choice. If you want to remove uh, or disconnect the battery, you can do that. But I don't think it is necessary. Um, I'm always, you know, if you can say it, I have luck with it, you know, never burn up my motherboard or anything. But it's recommended to disconnect the battery first. You can simply buy disconnecting just like that right just lift up the connector you disconnect the battery or you can just push it back in to install to me i feel like it doesn't really matter i have it always installed but anyway back to the screen here so once you have all the three screen uh, screws removed for your hinge you want to open up your screen now all right so open it up 
break about 90 degree angle all the way back and it just disconnect on its own right so if you flip the screen open up big enough and then you can push it out and then the screen will just disconnect entirely all right so this is a bad screen which is very dirty as well i apologize for that it is not my computer i'm just doing a tutorial here for you so what i'm going to do next is to open up the hinge slightly over 90 degree angle all right slightly mostly push it all the way to the back off almost okay so what you want to do next is have your laptop sitting on top and you want to slide it in okay you want to slide it in that little hinge slide it in okay once you have that slide in now what you want to do is you will try to close it if you can Something is not right. Why am I having some difficulties here? Something is not right. What is not right? For some reason, my screen is having some difficulty to close it. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to align the hinge 90 degree angle along with the, uh, the computer while my hand is holding onto um, the, on the other side, the bottom, just lifting it up so that I can close the hinge, put the screw in and close it. I'm not sure why why this new this U screen is a bit funny. So let me put that one screw here. Second screw. And the third screw. Okay, I'm going to come here and put one of the screw here. Okay, and I'm trying to close the screen if I can. Okay, now I can close the screen without any problems. Okay, now the next step is to finish up the, uh, the two more screws here. Make sure that your Wi-Fi, this little grounding metal is aligned with the screw and you just screw it in together, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and make sure all the cable is push it back in to the bracket. Open up the plastic here, slide the webcam to your right to install, so slide it in. And best way to do it is if you can get a plastic screw, a uh, plastic prior and push it in. So sometimes that helps to secure the, uh, the cable and the short one goes to your far left. Again, please do not force it down. Make sure you have it aligned, the circle aligned directly onto the Wi-Fi card. 
and once you have it aligned you can just tap it and it would just go back in you don't have to force it down to go in okay do not forget this little special thing here put it back in use your t4 screwdriver special thing here again t4 all right so the lcd screen you need to slide it to your left make sure you aligned it properly do not rush yourself and then close it with the clipper okay okay once you have everything with that you know i disconnected my battery reconnect the battery back again uh, make sure you have the back cover aligned it again back to the laptop okay get your pantalope screwdriver and put all the screws back in together and that should be it that's how you replace the macbook pro screen I don't think I need to board you with the screw, putting back the screws all together. So um, I'm going to stop the video here now. Um, again, you know, if you find the video is helpful, please, you know, give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Do not forget to hit the notification bell. Uh, that really helps to, uh, to notify you for my next coming repair video. And if you have any um, question about the MacBook Pro, or any other computer repair make sure you comment below and tell me what sort of help do you need ask me the questions and i'm more than happy to answer those questions all right until next time thanks for watching bye now